and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to make slow cooker chicken pot pie. It's one of my family's favorite. It is so yummy, super easy. It's a little bit on the healthier side, so if you're trying to watch your carb intake, this might be something for you. You can always take out the carrots and add a different type of vegetable, but it's definitely a low carb friendly, but basically just kind of everything friendly. It's it's just so good. So let me show you how I make it. So we're going to make slow cooker chicken pot pie. And I'm gonna make it in my new Kasori. This thing is amazing. It does your rice, yogurt, you can boil so you can use it as a stove, brown, simmer, steam, saute, and then it also has an option for your slow cooker so we can do low, medium and high. It also can be an oven so you can roast and bake on this bad boy. This thing is amazing. So today we're going to do the slow cooker and see how it all works. But oh, I just love the top. It's nice and big for my family of six. So what we're going to need to make the slow cooker chicken pot pie. We're going to need some chicken, some salt, and then some parsley and oregano, some carrots, some celery, an onion, some chicken broth, and then cream of chicken soup. And this is the first step. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to prep everything up and then I'll take you through the next step. Here's my chicken. It says to have four chicken breasts, but I did almost about two pounds of just little chicken strips. So I cut those into chunks and we're just going to dump that, dump it in here. Here's all my vegetables. So we're going to do one and a half cups of carrots, one and a half cups of celery, and then you're going to do a whole yellow onion and you're just going to dump that in. calls for eight ounces of chicken broth. This thing is massive, so I'm just gonna kinda, that should do it right there. Kinda mix that in like that. Then we're gonna take two cans of the cream of chicken. I did with herbs, you don't have to do with herbs, but I just like the extra flavor that it gives, so we're gonna do two cans of the chicken cream of chicken. Go ahead and kind of just mix that in together. You're going to add a teaspoon of parsley and then a little bit of salt, probably a teaspoon, but I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it. A teaspoon of oregano. You're gonna do super easy. You put your lid on, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn it on to either medium or low. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook it for medium for four hours or you can do low for eight hours and then I'm gonna hit the start and then 30 minutes before your cook time's up so when you get home or right before you're getting ready to serve your meal you're gonna want to add in your peas and corn and you're gonna mix that very well. We're gonna take some biscuits like pillberry biscuits or anything like that and bake them. Have these country style biscuits so I'll go ahead and prep and make this and then we'll go ahead and wait and come back when it's done. 
Okay, everybody, it is done, the chicken and the vegetables. So the last 30 minutes, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put the whole bag of corn in. And then I'm going to put a whole bag of peas in. We're gonna go ahead and just mix that up together. Then we're gonna go ahead and cook this for another 30 minutes. Right now, you wanna probably start your biscuits. So I started making my homemade, well not homemade biscuits, I started making my biscuits, but if you have the little cans of biscuits, you might wanna pop them open and then set them in the oven and cook while this is cooking. And I'll be back when it's done. Okay, you guys, it is done. Let's see how it looks. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. I absolutely, absolutely love this cooker. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to bake and do other things with it. So let's go ahead and plate this up. All right, you guys, there it is, my chicken pot pie with just a little bit of biscuit on the top. You can make them bigger or smaller. You can get the big, big biscuits and put it on top, but if you're watching your calories or carbs or anything like that, that's a good way to cut your carbs but still eat healthy, and I absolutely love it. All right, you guys, here it is. It's so yummy, it smells so good, and it's just nice and healthy and hearty, and my family really loves it, and it's a really simple way to get your vegetables in. So thank you all so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscription button on the way out. And until next time, you guys, bye.